and welcome back to another episode of Last Day Outer Survival. Today we return, lads. And lassies, our fires are over here. Hard at work trying to cook up plenty more of the charcoal. We put the oak planks that we've been gathering in the last episode. Hope that last episode was helpful. Some people were saying that I wasn't doing it 100% the most efficient way. So the improvement, I guess, is chop down every oak tree six times. Or like chop it six times and then wait for the final chop before you eat your yule log. Something like that. But welcome back to another episode. We got some different topics to talk about today. Topic number one. Nothing new under the Christmas tree yet. Making me sad. I think it's because I forgot to take out my brand new pantaloons. That's uh, may have been a deal breaker there to the Christmas tree gods. Uh, this guy, as per usual, Mr. Healer, still still disappoint us. You know what? We got to spread some vitamin P. It's been a while since we gave this man the dosage of vitamin P that he oh so obviously requires. So allow me to do you a huge favor, my brosif. Okay? I got you. But today we got some awesome stuff to talk about. There are some leaked screenshots of the game and what might be coming in the next and or a future update so i want to go ahead and talk about that a little bit today but before we uh before we start uh, doing that let's just uh you know let's just just just, just yeah yeah, yeah that, that, that's what you get get your vitamin p so you can hopefully be inspired to give me some good stuff yeah wave at me i know you like the vitamin p i know you like it you're going to pee your pants i know my dude you literally just did but without further ado let's hop in so the first photo here and these photos are from doomerous from what i understood some of you guys told me to check out his video uh from what i understood he was saying that he found these like he went into the game files or something i might be mistaken in that and there is a chopper event we got to go to so we're gonna do that to hopefully get the scuba mask but uh this is the first screenshot via him we'll just kind of talk over this first screenshot and then we'll head on to the chopper event then we'll talk about the rest and there are some interesting things being shown off here uh but first things first let me just drive the rest out to make sure it doesn't despawn uh the location of it, it appears to be kind of where the pump jack was before because you guys can kind of see the bunker the two forests the red infected forest there and then you can see where the oil well or whatever the, the pump jack was before so that thing appears to have been shifted to an entirely different location and instead what we got going is over in the upper right hand corner kind of relative to the infected forest so if we kind of position this right right where our upper right hand corner is so kind of right next to where the pump jack is i'd say like right in the middle of the screen right there there's some sort of really weird and i mean really weird area it looks like another sort of burnt forest but it's got like three signs above it which i have never seen before i have no clue what the hell that is but uh it is so okay but yeah you can see that there is a yellow marker with two green markers side by side or by its sides which is very different and very odd and then you can see a green icon in the upper right hand corner which i'm guessing is going to be some sort of a new event or maybe something entirely new something like that uh if you guys are looking at the bottom though you can actually notice and also i guess the green thing does show that there's going to be even more area coming along this way now i think he even said in his video this doesn't mean that this is coming in the next thing just that he found them in leaked game files or through like data mining what one of the two i think it was through data mining something like that and uh, you can also see at the bottom though this really weird icon like it, it looks like a gas mask and it has the number two by it which i can't even begin to fathom what the hell that would be for but it does appear like there might be some sort of a new uh gas mask type of tab coming like i i really don't know like we have the store tab we got the crafting tab and we got our inventory tab i don't really know what a fourth tab might be necessary for uh but before we head on to the chopper event it actually makes sense for us to check out the second screenshot which was a little bit of a follow-up where you can see the wasted remains uh too dangerous equipment required now when it says equipment required maybe that equipment will have to do with the first screenshot and that gas mask thing right maybe maybe that gas mask thing is like the like it's like a different equipment tab maybe it's like your hazardous equipment because by the looks of it you can see equipment required and like a nuclear slash radiation symbol uh, that I you probably need some very special equipment to go to and Kafir has said before in uh, what's my car but blah, blah, blah. what's my car what should we call uh, in their weekly Q&A's which they haven't done this week yet which is actually really weird 
maybe they're taking the year off for New Year. Not the year off, dear God, no. But uh, maybe they're taking a couple days off for New Year's because in Russian culture, from what I understand, New Year's is uh, more important than Christmas, at least, I think. If I got that wrong, I apologize. But that's at least the gist of what I got from some of you guys on some prior videos. Uh, but yeah, you can see some wasted remains. And Gafir has mentioned before wanting to add in, not even wanting to add in, but planning to literally add in a wasted, or not wasted, uh, a radioactive event. And even they have not done a concept art and sketches and i think they i don't know if they've confirmed it or talked about it in a q a or anything but they there's definitely been at least concept art of a subway and i think maybe in a q a they may have mentioned how the subway might lead to a city or something like that but i'm not 100 sure on on the q a but i know that there's been a concept art of a wrecked subway and here you guys can see what appears to be a subway some radioactive material in the background and some very 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 high level of loot i'm guessing maybe it might be that area in the upper right hand corner uh that we were seeing in the other screenshot that you can still kind of see with like the really weird icons just because like i don't know it says the threat level is two you know and i don't know yellow has to do with threat level two like if like if we click on this threat level is two for the yellow pine grove so i can see that happening potentially i could that that would make sense because like you'd have to click on it from the screen because like you know like you can't pull this thing up like for example if i wanted to click on nick santis right I, I can't pull up nick santis from here all right nick santis has to be on the screen for me to click on it so my best guess is that the wasted remains is going to be that kind of like really weird yellow slash uh, green type of area and in terms of distance it's gonna looking like it's gonna be a little bit far the infected forest takes you 31 energy my best guess rough estimate right around 50 energy to get there from what i'm seeing maybe close to 60 even but uh, back to the equipment it's looking like equipment will be required they have mentioned that they are going to be like right in the q a's that there's going to be a radioactive suit of some sort that is necessary so i'm guessing that might be the type of equipment that is needed here i don't think the gas mask counts i think you need like specific radio not radioactive but like hazmat suits you know to like be prepared for this but by the looks of it my best guess is that this is gonna have some really good loot due to the fact that it's gonna be very difficult to get to if this does indeed come uh, like i said again doomris has said that he found this himself but some people are saying that this is edited i'm gonna give doomris since he's a fellow youtuber the benefit of the doubt but if it turns out that he did just edit this and he faked it just to mislead the community i would recommend you guys uh, not listen to him on future stuff that might lead that like he might leak or something like that i'm giving you the benefit of the doubt doomers man but it does turn out you did fake this stuff just saying your credibility is kind of going to go down on the pooper so uh just a little bit of a heads up there but before we continue talking about that let's head on over to the chopper event the gorgeousness that maybe will lead us to the scuba mask that we're still on the hunt on don't know when this hunt will finally end is one day maybe one day will today be that day odds are definitely against us because there's been a hell of a lot of days in the past where we had a chance and that chance did not go our way holy hell talk about spooky and dark hello dear uh, okay so we gotta get these guys but uh, let me know what you guys think of the leaks if you guys think they are real if you think that they might be coming in the next update there's any thoughts on that what you think of my hypothesis is regarding the leaks any ideas i have any of that jazz in the comments section down below and reminder that comment's gonna put you a third of the way into the weekly 25 no no I have to use that Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure you like button. Make sure you subscribe and boom shakalaka. You will be entered in on this video. You guys can enter on every last day on Earth video. Winners will be chosen Saturday from the past week. Picking two winners this week. Best of luck to you guys. I'll pick two random videos. So you guys can enter on every video. Two random comments. Announce the winners on Saturday. And uh, boom shakalaka from there. But all right, Survivor. How are you doing? He is doing quite dead. That's for sure. I also definitely should not have used the AK because I forgot that that's the one guy who doesn't actually care if you shoot him. Uh, when it comes to doing this event, oh, get out of here, deer. No, bad deer, bad deer. I am not putting up with your shenanigans today. Uh, all right, we got to try and shoot the survivor here. Hello, survivor. I hope you don't have a good gun. That's gonna oh God, oh God. Oh goodness gracious. That was almost going very poorly. Okay, he's got a gun. And uh, this is not good. We got to whip out another gun. Ah, pistola, finish him. There you go. He's finished. He's got some poopy stuff on him. That's okay. Also, later, once we are done talking about the leaks, we're going to head on over to the bunker and try to get our hands on our next floppy disk because uh, we've been in search of that puppy for a while. All right, we've been putting it off since we were waiting to finish the acid bath since we're level 15. But now that we got the acid bath, my man, 
I will just say I am a happy camper. Oh yeah, I just need some more. In fact, the boxes open up and I will be an even, I'll be an exhilarated camper at that rate, man. Uh, good sledgehammers and stuff. Now the moment of truth, will there be a scuba mask for us to, no, no. I mean, the odds are definitely stacked against us. I, I ain't holding my fingers or anything. I ain't crossing, I'm, I am crossing my fingers, but you know, I'm not holding my breath. That, that's, that's the correct order of words that I was looking for. It's really hard to order words sometimes, you know, guys? Just like how it's really hard to find a scuba mask, but one day it might happen to us. Today is not that day, but one day might be that day. I do like the pistols and stuff we're grabbing from here, and uh, uh, that's it. This chopper vet's definitely lackluster compared to uh, the amazingness known as that. I mean, it's really good for scuba mask stuff, but it's lackluster compared to, uh, lackluster compared to the chopper ambush event where it's like the dudes are like, you know, it's like the two groups of survivors shooting each other. That one always has. Seriously, in my experience, by far best loot I have ever seen out of a chopper event. So let's make a quick pit stop back at home, drop off some of these goods. And while we are doing that, let's go ahead on over to the next screenshot where uh, there is a sneak peek of the electronics lab. Again, via Doomers, if you couldn't tell from the giant watermark, this seems to be a big theme. People like watermarking uh, their videos whenever they do this type of stuff. So people don't just like uncredit them. I respect that. But can you guys like not put it smack dab in the middle? It's kind of annoying. Like I, I like the first two screenshots where you put it in the corner. You know, it's kind of out the way. Not just like, you know, in the midst of what I want to talk about. Although, hey, you found the leak, so I, I can't blame you. You know, your leak, your decision. All right, that's on you, Doomerous. But so you can see here a sneak peek at what appears to be the electronics lab. And it it's really weird the way it works, which has me a little bit skeptical because every workbench before has never worked like this, although it's definitely a very interesting concept. And the reason it's like this is because if you look at the second screenshots, uh, it appears that it takes place, at least I think, in the bunker. You know, I, I don't know. That that looks like the bunker type of area. You know, what? I'll actually start heading over to the bunker to show you. But there's a table over in the room with that one shelf uh, right across from the red crate, the red ticket crate. And apparently that's going to be the electronics lab, unless that's just like a random photo of what might be useful or that that table in general is going to be somehow used because that doesn't really look like an electronics bench to me because from what we're seeing here if we scroll on down to the electronic bench somewhere there it is the electronics lab i mean it's got a computer and stuff but it also has i don't know it's got more than that and the table's a little bit shaped differently but maybe the bunker will have like some sort of maybe we'll be able to craft like a more efficient one and the bunker is like a primitive version. I could see that maybe happening, but it's just kind of hard to envision because you're gonna be getting some very valuable stuff as you can see from the first screenshot. I mean, alone, just the high tech components. Those things are gonna be very useful in a variety of really high level stuff like C4, electronic circuits, all that jazz are going to take uh, components or whatever but it's surprising that light bulbs drop high-tech components as well which has me also being kind of skeptical of this but again i'm giving doomers the benefit of the doubt man he's got his own fan base he's got his own subs would he mislead them i i would hope not man that'd be that'd be not a cool thing to do because he has claimed that he he himself found this in the game files so again Giving him the benefit of the doubt, I really hope this doesn't end up being false because I would be very disappointed in a fellow YouTuber to literally like provide their own leak and be like, hey, I found this and turns out to be fake. You know, that just kind of seems dishonest to the community. I mean, I like to keep a skeptical mind with this type of stuff, but again, I like to have a benefit of the doubt to people too because I'm an easily excitable person. I try, you know, I try to be a positive dude, you know, but back to talking about this, it looks like there will be three things available to get from Doomerous's leak of the electronics lab, high-tech components, car air filters, and uh, electronic circuits. From what he said, he didn't know how to get electronic circuits when he was doing this. He was able to get the car air filter from the gas mask though, and the high tech components from the light bulb but this is going to be very useful and probably i'm guessing the electronics lab itself will be added i don't think just because it's being leaked now means it's going to be in the next update i'm i'm still like very confident that the next update just from context clues what kafir has been saying prior q and a's i'm very confident and the time too i'm very confident that one of the next updates will be 1.7 and very confident that it's going to be a raider update with a total revamp of the rating system so i don't think that this stuff is going to be in the next update necessarily but i could you never know with kefir man never know with kefir 
But uh, yeah, you can see this type of jazz there. And then over in the next screenshot, you can see that there's just going to be some sort of form of it in the bunker. We'll go ahead and actually show exactly that area. But again, let me know what you guys think. If you guys think this stuff is real, if you think Doomerus is faking it, uh, I really hope that he isn't because that would suck. But yeah, that's enough talking about the leaks in the last day on Earth community. And now is enough time for us talking and doing the stuff where we head on into the bunker, activate the hard mode, and try to acquire a floppy disk. We might even be on track track boys and girls ladies and gentlemen to get a floppy disk this very episode i know <gasps> gasp that is right ladies and gentlemen it's exactly what we're gonna be doing not only do we get some leaks to bask in but we also get some juiciness to try and acquire for ourselves let's go ahead and activate this pupper right there let's go ahead and talk to this guy you can see we are very close we could probably go fight the blind one and i'm guessing we would get enough stuff uh, i'm not ready to fight the blind one if you guys haven't noticed though so we're not gonna do that Instead, what we're gonna do is go smack some people in the face with some cement on a stick. Hello, fast biter. Cement on a stick for you. Do, 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 do. No, 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 you, no soldier boy. We ain't doing sol soldier boy doesn't exist in the zombie apocalypse. Understandable. But uh, this is the workbench that supposedly will be able to do something like that. I mean, I this isn't this wouldn't be unprecedented though for Kafir to do something like that because I mean they have added functionality to the bunker before. Uh, this room right here, I don't want to open it, but you can see they added in the shower there that wasn't always there. I'm guessing there's even a chance that they might end up adding something into this room. And the reason that I'm really weirded out by that one screenshot just because like. You can see right here, you got the exact same type of bench, you know, so would it really make sense for just one bench to be useful like that? I don't know, but again, let me know what you guys think. I'm done talking about it for now. Now is the time for the part of the video where we go and adventure and try to have ourselves a little bit of uh, fun. Not just news, not just new stuff, but the fun. So in this floor, I know that we got the massive zombie horde. I think the saw blade mace is going to be our best bet at taking them out because we just want a weapon that has insane reach. So saw blade mace, best one I have for that. Sledgehammers are okay too. Uh, hopefully these guys drop some good stuff. I'm probably looking to get out of this floor by the time we get right around five notebooks, five uh, uh, pill things, and five dog tags. That's, uh, I feel like, a good number to aim for. And this is a good amount of kills to get these zombies. I don't know. When we do hard mode, they, it feels like they drop stuff more often. Oh, man. This, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, sometimes it's weird. Sometimes, like, they hit me off of the swing. Sometimes they don't. Maybe it's because, like, I don't walk far enough away. Regardless of what it is. Ah! I just don't like getting hit by these guys, man. I like keeping my health pristine, especially in hard mode. Don't you hit me, especially. I gotta eat food soon. It's very iffy, very trigger fingery, because I'm, ah, just trying not to die. And there we go. We should, ah, uh, succeed death to you. You can see these guys really like to drop stuff. Although for the most part, they do just drop dog tags. But hey, man, it's a good switch up. We haven't done hard mode in a hot minute, so I'm happy. I, I, I take that back. I don't know if I'm happy to be doing it again, but I'm happy for the rewards that we're going to get out of doing it again. I think that's the right way of putting it. I brought some turkey with me. Just fully realized that, and really not a lot of inventory room. Holy hell, I was supposed to put some of the stuff away, wasn't I? Yes, sir, probably. Uh, that's all right. I'm sure our saw blade mace is going to break pretty quickly. Honestly, let's try to break some of our melee weapons. Get some of that uh, oh so importante inventory room that we require. This this thing shouldn't last long. Oh my god, man. I forgot how much more damage these dinguses do. Oh, to the saw blade mace. Yes. Yes. We probably got to pick up some baked beans from our inventory too. Because we really are all aboard the hunger train. Hello, inbox. Give me my baked beans. Thank you. Thank you so kindly for the beans of the baked variety. I will eat that and put it in my tummy and heal myself fully. It is a vin vin. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we're going to have a toxic abomination to deal with. Can't sneak attack him. Uh, I think there's a toxic spitter here we can sneak attack. I know it's not good practice to waste the saw blade mace on them, but uh, actually it is. I forgot that they are way tougher in hard mode and they don't get one hit. But there we go. We got the two other inventory slots we needed for the two other types of items that these guys are going to drop. Uh, let's let's go ahead and open on up the ring around the rosy circuit as I lovingly call it Let's uh, open that thing get some sneak attacks on you dinguses I can't kill you in one hit, but that's all right It'll, it'll take a couple a little bit of a struggle, but at the end of the day you'll die. That's all I need. What was that noise man? 
That sounded like that sounded like a little spray bottle. Do you guys hear that or am I crazy? I've just been hearing noises today, man. It's not a good sign. I might need to go check get checked out by the doctor or something like that. Hello, floater bloaters. Don't notice me. I have done nothing. Is this guy gonna notice me? He actually might not. Oh, oh, dang it. I feel like I've done that before one time. Like, I don't think I've done it a lot, but I remember distinctly like pulling that trick off one time where they don't notice me. And it was marvelous. That marvel is not happening today, but all the dog tags are. Dude, we are getting so many dog tags. This is amazing. Uh, now then, we're gonna smack these dudes in the back of the head with a sledgehammer, and then we run like hell. Try to hit them a little bit more, maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this thing break. Actually, no, I'm switching on over to the pistol. I I have a good amount of band-aids, but I forgot what got me into my whole first aid scenario where I was really low on medical supplies for the longest time. Uh, it was being a little bit wasteful with them. So we're gonna try to play things a little bit more safely. This weapon right here is perfect though, because it does apparently 24 damage in hard mode. There's 10 damage on the dot, which is perfect because everyone's health is a multiple of 10. So there is no wasted damage being done. That's another thing that I really hate when it happens when you quote unquote waste damage. So let's say like, let's say I'm shooting something with 20 health left, but I'm using like my Glock here that does 24 damage. And you guys kind of know what I mean. I hate doing that type of stuff. Like I know it's not the worst thing in the world, but especially like if you have like a shotgun out, right? Oh God, don't even get me started. If, you, if like your only weapon is a shotgun and the dude's got like 20 health and it's like, well, I'm wasting 50 damage right here. Ain't that just great? Uh, the things I'm picking up. Oh, not that. That's not what I wanted. Come on, the game. Oh, I just remembered. We got to watch out for the frenzy giants. They uh, kind of forgot about their uh, situation here where they get ridiculously harder. Yeah, also we're about to run out of band-aids, which is going to be good for clearing out another inventory slot. But for now, just put that away because I am anticipating getting some of those notebooks. Uh, let's uh, pop some caps up in your booty, boy. Yeah, I'll take some of the weakest pistol. Oh, that didn't make you guys too deaf. Of course, he didn't drop anything. A disappointment of a zombie. How could you? I bet you failed. No, 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 no. Quit the zombie. I bet you failed zombie school. Didn't even know how to how to uh, eat, eat, eat brains right. I, how don't you not eat brains right? You're a zombie. Nah, it's okay, zombie. I accept you for who you is. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. You're still a cool, cool cat in my mind. Ooh. I think there's 15 damage on the dot to Frenzy Giants. Phone, you better get your lag spikes out of the way now. Also, I don't know what it is, but I think ever since I started recording Last Day on Earth, my phone lately has been struggling to charge. It's the biggest struggle ever because uh, I will literally go to sleep. Plug I think I've talked about this before, but I'll go to sleep, plug it in wake up after like seven eight hours and what 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 do you know what do you freaking know oh that's right you know let's uh let's put on that thing what do you know it's at uh, like 70 percent can't even fully charge like i know right i'm 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 absolutely bamboozled by this stuff also we don't have swap boots on so maybe we should put those things on and i'm good at it oh god that buffed out bless up i always get scared when i do that when i let them get too close in hopes that i kill them before they swing on me it's uh gets sketchy my palms start getting sweaty my knees start getting heavy arms weak spaghetti all that stuff all of it just starts happening to me and it's awful uh can i get a sneak attack off on any of you guys this is the question of the day what do, what do i get stuck on back here bro like i don't understand oh it's just, it's like a random little table i think okay a and open that up b can I get a sneak attack in on you or oh no oh no no sneak attack today no sneak attack today senor okay I'll come back tomorrow or a couple minutes later whichever one comes first let's use the rest of this and of course I forgot the uh, most trademarked part of hard mode how the fact that zombies do more damage and you do less damage leads to you blowing through more guns and more med kits than the other bunker mode but it's all right we're gonna try to hit that level 16 with the specialist I'm excited and I'm gonna be a proud camper when it happens. Ooh, popped him right before he could pop me. Bada bing! Take that, boy. All right, let's uh, let's move on over to the next one. Just whatever can do 10 damage on the dot, I'll take. We'll try to take out the two frenzy giants back there. And honestly, I think after that, we should have enough good supplies to uh, get our next level, activate the floppy, and uh, head on over and see what we get our hands on. I think that that should be more than reasonable, so... Given the fact it's more than reasonable, I think we should make it happen. Okay, come on. You got to give me something a little bit better than the dog tags, though. Oh, my God. 
Only dog tags. That's that's all that we get, man. The disrespect. I, I hate it. Just makes me feel poopy. How could you do this to me? What did I ever do to you besides kill probably millions of your brethren at this point? Like, God, stop being so sensitive, floater bloaters. Jesus, just let me kill you without a hustle. You know, like, just just don't even just just hug me. Hug me as I shoot you. Don't do damage with your hug. Not, not like a hug of death. Just literally give me a good old fashioned hug and embrace me as I put bullets into your brain. I promise it'll make the whole process way better. 10 out of 10 would process again. Uh, all right, so we got these two rooms to clear out. We got to wait for the little dinguses. Take those out quickly. Other dudes are going to get some hits in off on us. That's okay. Hopefully try to finish him. And then it's time for this. Ooh, drop something. It's time for this. Oh, my God. This dude is hustling already. Yeah. I've been spoiled by doing all those normal mode bunker runs, trying to get the uh, connecting rods that I forgot just how lethal and deadly and how laggy my phone gets on hard mode for some reason god knows what the reason is oh this is actually going very well so far okay look at that that's actually the best one so far hey we got a military notebook out of it too hey 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 uh ooh, got a dead guy over here too see the one problem is we don't meet a lot of toxic spitters toxic spitters for whatever reason have the absolute they're just like barely stronger than fast walkers but they can have military notebooks on them. So I really just wish I could turn all walkers into fast dudes. That would be probably the ideal situation. Uh, we haven't used more band-aids. All right, we'll just try to use this pistol out till the end. The toxic abominations, on the other hand, yo, I'm using a lot of my pistol durability on you, so you better have something good for me. But oh, the good old turn and burn tactics. Forgot how reliable these are. Is the toxic abomination faster than his uh, floater bloater brethren? I'm not entirely sure. It kind of seems like it, because that dude is lagging behind. This guy, on the other hand, a holy haul, Batman. He knows how to haul booty. That's for sure. Anything good? All right, I'll take some of those, and then hopefully this floater bloater will drop me one of those personal effects, or maybe if we're lucky, a notebook. I don't think I've ever seen a notebook out of a floater bloater, but still, you never know. Uh, sorry that I don't check that laundry machine there. I'm just not interested in uh, doing my laundry at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Although, I mean, I'll check it, but literally every time I've looted that, all that I get is some worn down clothes. I'm sorry, my man. I got enough worn down clothes in my own dang closet. I don't need to find them in random laundry machines. Thank you very much for understanding my situation. Thank you for not damaging me. Hey, I'll take that to the bank. And let's see what you've been hiding back there. We'll see what was been hiding over in the other room with the Frenzy Giant. Then we'll grab the floppy and uh, hopefully get our hands on another infected box. At this point, dude, choo-choo, all aboard the infected box train because those things have way better loot than the floppy disks. Uh, before, I was not about the infected box train because you can't safely hold more than one infected box. And that's if you have a chopper. Yeah, literally just, just re I mean, those are reinforced jeans. That's respect. Oh, no, those are denim. Not even reinforced. Never mind. Those are poopy jeans. I'm sorry. Those are not the pantalones that the pantalones yeah. god approves of. Uh, please come again. Thank you. Beep. All right. But honestly, I'm, I'm pretty confident in what we got. Like 13 dog tags is a pretty big amount. That's like, yeah, I know that I said I wanted to walk out of here with like five of each. But a 13 dog tag should get us a ton of points. The floppy dish should get us a ton of points. So then we can head there and see what it has. Uh. Our inventory might not be full enough to grab it right away, but at the very least, we could grab some of the MVP, most important stuff, and uh, just come back to it at a later point, because it's going to be activated for... Uh, you know what's going to happen, though? All things considered, we're definitely about to just be, like, one point off. It's just It just has to happen. And specialist, dude, you keep changing from yellow to red. Just pick a damn color and stay with it. Why is that so difficult? Okay, that's, yeah, I, I, I got high confidence in this. Oh, yeah, these notebooks will definitely finish the job. Barely, but it did it. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, we're still level 15. We don't level up. That's going to suck if they ever add more rewards, but uh, it's okay. Why don't we plop that puppy into there? Wahaha. Next activation in 12 hours. I'm cool with that. Let's go see what prizes we can reap, boy. Uh, also, probably drop some goods off on the top floor. Uh, also, ooh, I got to come back to the bunker. Make sure they don't forget anything. You know, I'm going to do that actually right now. Because we do have a chest. I just want to make sure that we're not forgetting anything valuable in it. 
because I've done that in the past and I always it, it's bit me because I've forgotten connecting rods here so never again I'm super careful now when it comes to this stuff never again will I let potentially useful stuff down the line go to waste chopper wheels on the other hand I already have a chopper I don't think I can craft a second one and if I could I don't know why I'd want a second one Although, I think I have like three chopper gas tanks. I just, that's why. I, I don't need another chopper. I need the trading system to come out so I can trade some stuff and make some moolah. And honestly, probably like give one away because y'all are pretty awesome and I can't, I can't be super selfish. I got to give some of them away. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll grab some of the weapon parts. Honestly, toss some of the gas in the chopper. And all right, respectable enough. Nothing else that great in there. Like there was a shovel, I guess. Boys. I have like 10 shovels in a chest back from when I over prepared for the Halloween update. I was ready to go. I thought there'd be a couple more days of the Halloween event. And then suddenly the Halloween event stopped and I'm like, oh, well, there goes that. Uh, I guess I just have a bajillion shovels now. Should probably start a shovel company, something of the sort. So that's that's looking like that might be what uh what goes down. Now then, what do we got here? Now that we're safely out, let's go see what the floppy has in store for me. Oh, I do have a ton of pistols in here, too. Totally forgot about that. Hell yeah, boy. We got so many weapons. That's why we need that new update. I need something to shoot. All right. All these weapons just chilling in my base. I don't like it. All right. You got the weapons got to do something. If the weapons get bored, bad things happen. You don't want bad things to happen to weapons, man. That's the last thing you want the bad variety to happen to. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. Uh, all right. Ooh, perfect 19 energy on the dot. Mwah. Magnifique. Magnifique. God, that just makes me amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. And then we can run or not run. We'll drive on over to this one. And from there, it will be time to see. Is it an infected box? Infected box? Plus, 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 plus. I, I, I'm, I'm not holding out. Although, I don't know. We've had pretty bad infected box luck. I mean, good luck in that we didn't get it when we shouldn't have. But I've heard of people getting like four infected boxes by the time they're like level 15. So uh, maybe it's time for our luck to turn around now. Eh? Eh? Instead of just, instead of just normal stuff. I, I'd enjoy that thoroughly game. Please and thank you. You also got to use the rest of the sledgehammer on some of these unsuspecting dinguses. Oh, this thing is definitely about to break hella hard. Ooh, that thing is like surrounded by bag. Oh, dear God, I wasn't ready for this. Two toxic abominations. Uh, why don't we mow, ow, mow your boys down? Just, just let me, let me make a little bit of separation. There we go. This is what I was looking to do. This guy should die quick enough. He's got his friend. He's not going to have tickets or anything good on him, so I'm not going to bother looting him. I'm sorry. All you're going to have is rope, because for some reason, every zombie ever out there is a rope collector. Strangest phenomenon in the world. But just, you know, just be careful. You know, they, they, they love their rope and flashlights for whatever reason. Although we've definitely gotten less flashlights. Ah, it's a normal box. That's that's OK. I'll, I'll take I can't complain. Because supposedly there's still a chance we get like a scar or even grenade launchers once we get level 15. So uh, I'd love a grenade launcher if that exists. Oh! I love this. I am happy with what happened today. I, I love what happened today. Absolutely great day. Amazing day, some might even say. Uh, all right, flashlight, I'll come back for you. Hello, engine part. You have a high priority on my list. Uh, other stuff, green ticket, got a ton of you back at home. Hello, steel bars. Uh, got, dude, this is great start, but you know what? We're just gonna have to come back to this, I'm feeling like, because I, I don't really want to ditch any of the stuff here. I want to put it away safely, and there's still a couple of valuables I would definitely love to grab. But with that, that's a great point for us to actually go ahead and start ending this video off on with a great infected box to boot. Hallelujah. Bless up. I'll try. And of course, another grenade launcher, man. That is five grenade launchers for us. And maybe more coming down the line. That just goes to show, once you level 15, even if you don't get infected boxes, there's still the chance that you get grenade launchers just from floppy disks themselves. And oh boy. Is that a good thing? So I'll go ahead, start walking home and all that jazz. Oh, there's an airdrop there. Yeah, I ain't too interested. I already got my connecting rods. You might have an engine part, 
when I got my connecting rod. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all ton for watching. Sorry that I can't wave. We are again in the middle of a walk. Uh, so sorry that I can't wave to you guys. But best of luck to you guys joining the Chopper Squadron. Best of luck to you guys in spreading that positivity. Making the world a fan for fantastic place. And uh, of course, can't wait to hear what you guys got to say about some of them leaks that we were showing off earlier today. Maybe some more leaks will be coming soon. If you guys know of anything that maybe I missed, let me know. And if there's any other leaks potentially that I totally have not caught whiff of yet, feel free to let me know and link them in the comment section down below. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it for me for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Doomers for providing them weeks and th not weeks. <laughs> providing the weeks providing the leaks and uh just thank you to you guys for being absolutely amazing you guys have no clue how much i appreciate it and uh shouts out to you for being you but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya